Hey, what's up everyone? I'm the Hobo Handliner. In today's video, you're gonna see how to fish all kinds of styles and sizes of spoons, um, how to use them on the hand reel to catch lots of crappie. Uh, wasn't exactly going for crappie, but that's what was biting, so I'll take it. So if you guys are interested in a really easy setup with just a lure tied to your line and how to use them, check this one out on spoon fishing. I'll see you guys out there. This is how hungry these crappie are, guys. This is a deep diving, heavy spoon. Probably, oh, I don't even know, a quarter ounce. And those crappie, that's a you know, that's a seven six inch or seven inch crappie. They'll just tank something that size. It's crazy. I mean, that's a spoon you would use for like a, a pike or, or a musky. And these crappie, whoops. Yep. Well, there he goes. <laughs> Easy release on him. Yeah, they'll hit something like that. You know, just pulling it back like an inline spinner. You know, he hit that about four foot deep. Crazy. There we go. That's a little bit better of one. Well, maybe not. <laughs> he sure felt like it. Well, yeah, he's a little longer. Once again, on that big old, like, pike-sized, <laughs> golden, heavy spoon. Nice little crappie. These guys must be hungry. Sorry, the sun's at an interesting angle, but you get the idea. On that same spoon, let's let him go. one man that was an aggressive bite wow he felt like a huge bass that's how hard he bit it <laughs> i'm not lying that was a hard bite oh he got it good he smoked it another one about the same size guys chasing that big old spoon all right don't put a hook on my finger no hooks in my finger please Let's let you go. There he is. There you have it. Tiny fish, big bait. Who cares, right? As long as they're biting it.
There's another fish, guys. Man, they're hammering it as if they're three times the size. Now, this guy is a little bit bigger, but still not huge. But it, he's about an inch longer. But man, when they hit it that aggressively, they feel like something that's just huge. All right, we're gonna switch things up, switch over to a different spoon. Don't wanna do the same thing over and over and over again. But um, yeah, again, he's, he's a little bit bigger. Not, not huge, not keeper size, but he's almost getting there. There we go. Now a little secret guys, all these spoons you see me using are ones that I have found at the bottoms of creeks that people snagged and lost when they were fishing for trout. So that's pretty cool that all these spoons that I've been using have been catching me crappie. Pretty neat. got off that's all right he was about the same size as the other one i switched over to a, a perch pattern one that i found a while ago with a smaller treble hook pretty cool There's a fish, guys. Oh, wow, he felt huge. And what do you know? He's little bitty. <laughs> Man, it is so hard to tell on these spoons how big this fish is. But yeah, uh, right in the corner of the lips. Another little crappie chasing those uh, spoons that represent like a moving bait fish, a shad pattern, something like that. That's what these guys eat, from what I've heard. Another one down. There we go guys, got another fish way out there. A lot deeper too. This is on the smallest spoon of the day. Yep. That's a nicer, nicer fish. Really good colors on this guy. And he got all three hooks. Good hookup. Very pretty. It's on another, come on, relax, relax. Another spoon that I found. Uh, this one's like pearlescent and silver. Once again, one that I found uh, at the bottom of a creek while I was trout fishing. Always keep your eyes peeled, guys. You never know when you can find a lure you might use in the future. Pretty cool.
Looks like I found a school of them, guys. About the same spot. I can see the silver flash in the water, so it's another crappie. There we go. Come here, buddy. Nice, uh, nice dark colors on his back, just like the last one. Actually, a little bit. Oh, he came off. That's all right. We got him pretty close. Got a good look at him. Man, they, like I said, they bite with the with their lips. So sometimes you just pull that hook right out of their mouth. But that's all right. Again, it wasn't keeper size, so it's no big deal. There's a fish. You guys using that cast and gentle retrieve? That is such a great way to nail these crappie on a, on a spoon. I've used four different types of spoons today. They're all, oops, we'll just kick them off the dock. But yeah, all these spoons, when you cast it out, go on, bud, go on. We cast it out, slow retrieve after letting it sink for a few seconds. Um, sometimes I'm getting hit four or five times or just on the retrieve back. Even if I'm not hooking up, I'm still getting hit. So pretty awesome. There we go, guys. All right. That time on the gold and nickel spoon, he got all three hooks. Can you see that? All three of them. Pretty fish. Now, this is the fourth or fifth spoon I've tried. I've used all the spoons that I have in my tackle box that I have found, and all of them in the same day, both big and small, have all worked. Let's see if we can catch one more, and then we'll call it quits. All right, guys, well, I forgot to hit record, but there you have it. There's the final fish. There's the release. I think that'll be good for today. Four or five different types of spoons. All of them worked, all different sizes. Jigging, retrieving, casting and letting it fall. Tons of ways to use these guys. They're very simple. You tie them onto your line. You don't need a float. It's all good stuff in my book. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you watching. Uh, like I said, that was all kinds of different spoons, lots of different methods. Um, nothing too big, but a lot of crappie. They were all in that uh, six to eight inch range. A lot of fun to catch, especially retrieving them. You get to see a really bright flash of silver. That's always fun. So I hope you guys like this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in the next video. This is the Hobo Handliner, signing off.